We're here on Gunthorpe Road in Gedling, just a very short distance away from Mapley's fantastic amenities, as well as the stunning Gedling Country Park for a video tour of this extended three bedroom, semi-detached family home. Just starting off at the front of the property, we have a lawned low maintenance front garden, flight of steps and takes us up to a path to the main entrance door. And we also have a lock up timber gate, which opens up to a useful storeroom which we'll see a bit later on when we have a look at the extension. So we've just stepped inside the property into the entrance hall. To our left, we have a staircase up to the first floor, and also a useful understair storage cupboard as well. Door straight ahead takes us into the lounge dining room, and then we have access on our right into the breakfast kitchen. Just start off in the lounge diner, we have French doors out into the back garden, which we'll see a bit later on. Low maintenance timber finished flooring. And also a feature electric fireplace as well. We have a TV access point in the corner and there's also access to Virgin Broadband. On top of that, the opening just at the end of the room takes us into a nice dining area. Plenty of room for a table and chairs. Views over the back garden and then a serving hatch through to the kitchen. Moving on, we'll then have a look at the breakfast kitchen. Back through the hallway. Fitted with a good range of basin eye level units, we have plenty of storage and lots of worktop space as well. Worktops also incorporate a breakfast bar. Just have a look from the other side of the room. In terms of appliances in the kitchen, we have a built-in oven, hob and extractor canopy. There's also a concealed fridge and separate freezer just underneath us to our right as well. On top of that, we have space and plumbing for a washing machine and further space and plumbing for a freestanding dishwasher as well. You can see the wall mounted backseat boiler. The door behind us then takes us to a useful storage area. Lock up gate out to the front of the property. And then a set of sliding patio doors take us into a versatile sitting room. Could be used as an office, further family or playroom or even a guest bedroom. We do have an electric heater in here. It is currently being just used as storage and we have an access door on our left, just at the end of the room, out into the back garden. And then just having a look round upstairs from the landing, we have access into all three bedrooms, the bathroom, useful earring storage cupboard to our right, and then the separate WC. Just work away from left to right, starting off in bedroom number one. Really good size double. Plenty of space for freestanding bedroom furniture as well. And we also have low maintenance timber finished flooring, a nice big window overlooking the back garden. We then have bedroom number two. Both bedrooms are quite a similar size. Bedrooms number one and two, either could be used as the master. Bedroom two does have a good variety of fitted wardrobes and storage cupboards, neutrally decorated. And again, nice big window overlooking the back garden. We then have bedroom number three, low maintenance timber finished flooring again. Currently utilised as a single bedroom. Would fit a double bed. Alternatively could be used as an office if working from home. We then have the family bathroom fitted with a wash basin and bath. Just behind the door we have glazed shower screen and electric shower. And then we have the WC fitted with a door flush toilet. And then just to finish off the tour, we'll have a look at the back garden, greeted by an initial paved patio area, which gives us space for a table and chairs. And then see the door into the back of the second sitting room. Small flight of steps then take us up to the first tier of the garden. Currently a washing line in place, the paved patio area. And then a final flight of steps up to the main section of garden, which is lawned. 
Nice and low maintenance, good variety of established plants and shrubs. And we then have access to the final section of garden, just through the timber gate where we have a mature fruiting apple tree. It does require a bit of TLC, however, currently nice and low maintenance, plenty of potential and scope for planting as well.